definitely a not so small chance that I got carried away at the farmer's market. Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Happy 2023. Today is, for me, it's the day before the first day of the year. I'll explain. First, let's do the first haul of 2023 with the farmer, farmer's market finds. Radishes, looking beautiful. The biggest spring onions you've ever seen. I, what? i never seen anything like this. Squash. Zucchini. Japanese eggplant. Shallots. Onion. Red onion. Yellow pepper. Orange pepper. Bananas. In here. Strawberry. You can't see it. It's strawberries, okay? Just trust me. Same thing with the grape tomatoes. Rainbow carrot. Looks like a couple of green beans got here. I did not buy them. I don't know how they got in the bag, but I'll take them. Never found these in America ever before. Passion fruit. And the kind of passion fruit that does not grow in my yard. If you've been around here for a while, you know that my passion fruit tree gives me exactly one to two passion fruit a year. It's completely useless. But this is not the kind of passion fruit that it grows, so I'm very excited about this. And that's the haul. Let's catch up. I hope you don't mind if I cut my veggies while we talk. So the reason why I said today is basically the day before the first day of the year for me is because I've been taking a much needed, much deserved, emphasis on much needed break. If you watch Vlogmas, you know that your girl was unwell by the end of the year. It was the hardest I've ever worked in my life and I was burned to a crisp. The burnout was very real. I need scissors, hold on. It was a disaster. So I needed a little break to get myself together. And I did just that. Let me wash these. I did a whole lot of nothing. I sat on this couch and I just did nothing for days, for days. I did a puzzle. I read a book just for fun. Tried to read Le Miz. Hmm, that was a, that was a bit much. I, I couldn't get into it. If you read Le Miz, Please let me know in the comments how you got through it, if it gets better, because I'm still on the bishop and things are going tray slow. And I was bored, so I put that aside. I binged the two seasons of The Sex Lives of College Girls, so good. And then I got to watching a show that explains the radishes and everything else. It's on HBO Max and it's called Cooking in Paris, which very on brand. It's about this couple, they bought the cottage that Julia Child lived in, uh, in France, in the south of France. Now they run a cooking school out of that cottage. You know, they're going to the Nice market and buying all this fresh produce and then just cooking with it. And it just made me, oh, well, first of all, it made me miss France a whole lot. And then it also inspired me to go to the market, get some fresh veggies, backtrack. It inspired me to actually get up from the couch, put on pants that are not sweatpants, and go to the market. I have not checked email. I have not replied to comments. I did go to a New Year's wedding in Boston, which was a lot of fun. I have a little bit of the Sunday scaries today, and I'm just like, I need to go back to work. Ugh. And I did do a teeny, a teeny tiny little bit of planning for the new year. So I figured I would kind of walk you through what I did to plan for the year. Cause I know I got a few questions um, from people on Instagram asking me what my intentions were, if I had a word of the year or anything like that. So let's talk about that. Before we get to that, let me just explain what's happening here. I'm putting a little bit of water with salt to boil in there. And then I'm gonna add uh, bulgur wheat, which I'm 85% sure this is, this is why you should always label your containers because I didn't. And I mean, it looks the part, so we're just gonna trust that it is. I haven't made this. This was one of my dishes to do when I first went vegan. It's in this book over here. This was the first book I got when I went vegan. This is what it looks like. So we'll see if it turns out and if I have the right things, but I'm not going by the measurements. I'm just winging it. Again, inspired by that show that I've been watching on HBO Max. Highly recommend if you haven't watched it. Where was I? Planning for 2023. Yes. Please don't mind that the herb garden is more like a weed garden. Like weeds as in 
you know, plants you didn't maintain to plant. But somehow the parsley has made it. And we're all very happy about that. And by we all, I mean you and me. The approach to plants is kind of like, if you're strong enough to make it, you make it. I'm not gonna help you. You should just grow in nature, you know what I mean? I'm not a plant mom. It's not who I am. I'm okay with that. But look, it's so pretty. It smells really good too. Mm, exciting. Okay, my planning. So every year, I'm a big intentions person. I'm a big fresh start person. Obviously, a very goal-oriented person. Admittedly, in the past, I have made the very big mistake of setting 25 goals and then uh, not being able to accomplish them and then feeling like a failure when I don't. We are no longer doing that. So what I did is I actually got myself from the couch and into the office. Kind of took a moment to kind of reflect on the year. I do write a letter for myself. So basically you write a letter for your past self from the future of things that you want to accomplish that year as if they already happened. You might think it's complete BS and that's totally fine. Listen, it works for me. And then I look at it in December 2022 and, um, and see what was right, what worked, what didn't work. and. So I started out by just reading that letter to myself and that was really cool because I wrote 10 things that I wanted 2022 to be like, things that I would have accomplished, things that I would have done and things that I didn't have anymore in my life because I, they weren't serving me anymore. And for the most part, they were very on point. I really feel like writing that stuff down ahead of time really helps me figure out like what my intentions are and it kind of sticks in your brain. Like I didn't look at that letter. I sealed it and I put it away. And I didn't look at I didn't look at it for an entire year, but somehow it stuck in my brain and those were my priorities for the year. So that was pretty cool. Then the other thing I did was I did these printouts from Mariana Hewitt. She's an influencer of her podcast. She had these printouts for 2023 planning. And basically you just went over some of the highlights for the year, what worked, what didn't work, what you wanted your next year to be like. And this was less goal oriented in terms of like numbers, but it's more of like, how you want to feel. What do I want my year to feel like? What are some of the things that I don't want anymore? So one of the things that I wrote were just like, no more chasing the algorithm. You guys, Instagram algorithm broke me by the end of last year. I was so tired of chasing a robot. It just seemed like no matter what I did, nobody was seeing my posts. It was pushing it to all the wrong people, bots, DMing me. It was just a waste of time. It felt so discouraging and I'm so tired of it. That was a lot of what I put in there. It's like no more of that. No more doing it all myself. The business has grown so much, which is awesome, but that means it is time to build a team. I, I want to have a peaceful night of sleep. Okay, bad news. What was in this was in fact not bulgur wheat and was flax seeds. This might actually be the bulgur wheat. I'm gonna toss that because that's disgusting. I completely forgot to buy vegetable stock at the market or at Publix earlier in this week. So I'm just gonna like I'm gonna peel these and I'm just gonna throw these in here and we're gonna make our own stock. Seriously, who am I? Continuing with the planning, I looked at my awesome jar. If you are unfamiliar, an awesome jar is something that I started last year where it's just a jar that I keep in my office. And then whenever something awesome happens, I write it in a piece of paper and I drop it in there. And at the end of the year, the jar was pretty darn full. And it was really cool to look at it. One note that I did make for myself is that next year, I'm gonna use different color post-its for personal and work stuff. This is just type A personality type of thing. But I highly recommend doing that because it was really cool to take a look at some things like that I kind of forgotten about, like going to the BSB concert with my friends and having such a great time and going to Brazil to see my family, uh, selling out for the first time in a market, you know, selling out at Locotopia, going to Italy, of course, going to Montreal with Tara. And then I got to the practical stuff. So I had all of my goals for last year 
uh, written in these big pieces of paper around my office and I just went over each one of them and I wrote down what worked, what didn't work, and why. I also wrote down what are the bottlenecks in the business right now? What are the problems and why are they there? Because some of the things it's like, oh, I don't have enough time. Okay, I need to hire somebody. And some of them are just like, I dread doing this. Like, I hate picking up the phone to do this. Or I was just completely overwhelmed and I procrastinated that, you know? And just actually being honest with myself, like, why didn't some things get done? Really helped me understand uh, why some things worked and some things didn't work last year in the business narrowed it down to like okay then what are the goals for this year and that's where we're at now and yes admittedly this kind of looks like the layer of a serial killer theme of yes magic say hi to the vlog so yeah admittedly this looks a little crazy uh, but all of this is gonna come down except for this which is my goals for 2023 and no I'm not sharing that list with you because some goals need to remain private hello excuse the look but we are in full kitchen troll mode I was editing before I went to bed last night and realized that the last clip what I said kind of wrong what I actually meant to say in the last clip is that I wasn't gonna share my professional goals with you but I did want to share what's going on in terms of goals for 2023 in my personal side of things. So I figured I would just share with you my personal goals for 2023 while I stuff these pastry bags full of vegan cream cheese. First goal, drink more water. That has been my goal for like, what, the last five years? I'm like a camel. I can get by on an entire day with like a glass of water. It's terrible. So if you drink a lot of water, if you know how to drink more water, let me know in the comments because I have failed at this goal over and over again. Second goal, I took French in college, but was like very basic French. It, during the pandemic, I tried to learn French again. I got on Duolingo. That owl has been deeply disappointed with me ever since. I go back, I go, I go in, I go out, but I never really stuck with it. And I would love to actually learn French, like conversational French. So I'm back on Duolingo and I'm on a two day streak now. So I'm just doing it as I eat breakfast, five minutes a day, it's totally doable. Like I should be able to do this. And then I have a word of the year and my word of the year is connect. And that applies to a bunch of different things. One way, this is the toughest part. It's getting to the bottom of the bag. Like I said before, I do wanna build a team for the bakery. So that's like connect with the right people to make my team. The other way is that I want to connect with more, you know, CEOs and business owners. Also, just more positive people, people who are like-minded. And then finally, that means connecting with you guys. I had a couple of videos last year that went a little bit viral and that attracted some not so great people that were not the kind of discourse that I want to have on this channel on my social media. So I just want to really make videos and make content that I enjoy, that I know you guys who are watching this longer video enjoy and that you want to see from me. And even if that means I don't have like a million views on a video, I would rather have a thousand views from you guys than a million views from passersby that are just gonna yell mean things as they go by. Makes sense? That makes sense, right? Yeah, that's, those are the personal goals. Now we can go back to where we were a couple of days ago so this is gonna go over there and this is important so the reason why that's gonna go over there is because when I sit at my desk I'm always looking at it that's gonna be like my guiding light I see it all the time that way when opportunities come up when things come up is it like does it align with the goals yes no so now the only thing that I need to do and I'll probably do this tomorrow get down into what I'm gonna do each quarter of the year and that's lunch. I put a couple of tofu things that I had left over on top. This should be delicious. 
And yes, we're eating outside because the weather is beautiful right now. If you don't live in Florida, I'm really sorry. Don't mean to rub it in, but January is beautiful in this state. Before I get into it, I wanted to show you a couple of things. I'm not the kind that's gonna do like a what I got for Christmas video, but my sister-in-law gave me this and I never felt like my personal brand was so aligned. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's called Once Upon a Kitchen, 101 Magical Recipes. So it's all these recipes that could be in different uh, stories like there's a Dungeons and Dragons chapter, there's a Harry Potter chapter, Mickey's Parmesan Broomsticks. Oh yeah, by the way, none of this is vegan. Like I perused this book and there's very little in here that is vegan. Thankfully, I specialize in veganizing things. Empire Biscuits, like Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Let me know in the comments if you were as obsessed with that show as I was when I was growing up. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah. Also, another thing that came in the mail, Berga um, sent me a couple of things. Got a new phone last year. Just bought whatever they had at the AT&T store, which was not very exciting. So when Berga told me they wanted to send me a couple of things, I was very excited about that. They come in these nice little pouches too. So we got the green and gold because those are the colors of Curious Cat. So it's only fitting. I really like this. And it's like, it's the soft on the inside, but outside it's like adorable case, which is very cool. Ooh, and this one is fancy. Ooh, look at this. Wow. This is their elite collection, so it's like, it's, it's fancy. That's why it comes in a fancy little drawer thingy. It's like a little starry night moment. We're gonna go with the green. Here we go, and we're in. There you go. Oh, I love this. This is awesome. It's so pretty and unique. And they also have cases for your MacBook, headphones, like all of that stuff. They have it all in there, and they have matching ones, so if you wanted to have all your devices have the same cover, you can do that. Thank you so much, Burger, for sending these over. And I will put the link to them in the description below in case you want to get yourself a cute little case for your stuff too. All right, so that's going to be it for today's vlog. I need to eat lunch because it's, it's like the middle of the afternoon now and I'm starving. I'm so excited for this year. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And let me know in the comments what your word of the year is. And I will see you guys here next week with a new vlog.